All right, so today we're working on finite element analysis for the trailing arm. So I'm trying a new type of support here. I'm trying a hinge support on the pivot point of the trailing arm and then a fixed support on the shock mount. And then I'm gonna impart the force load at the end. I think this is a slightly more accurate representation of what the part is going to be experiencing where the far end has the force from the world and then the shocks are simulated as being fixed because they're pushing against the center of the part. And then the far end is the pivot point. So that hinge support allowed me to have a lot more displacement, which I think is a good thing. I think this is probably a more accurate way to model this. So you can see the movement at the end of the part. I found this really cool animation feature, which makes the whole thing look pretty nuts. You can see exactly how the part moves under load and the peak stress on this ended up being the same as what I did in the other simulation. It was slightly different, but within a margin of error. And that's how you do FEA.